Hello, my name is Dylan Sara. I love drawing portraits. I love connecting to people. And every Tuesday I host a live two hour sketch session where we draw each other live via Zoom. It's so much fun. Um, here's some 30 second, one minute, maybe two minute sketches. We work our way up to six minutes. And in the course of two hours, I think we do like 26 portraits or something. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. We chat and exchange ideas. And right now I'm going to show you some four minute sketches. And we had a really interesting conversation as we were talking, uh, working through this as well. So enjoy and join our sketch sessions. Uh, and you can check out some of the work um, with the hashtag drawing with Dylan on Instagram and follow the link which is down below it's the same link every week and we'd love you to come and sketch with us amazing four minutes <laughs> mm, yeah <laughs> yeah it's really cool Do you guys have an idea as to like when you sometimes have a not such a great drawing day? I, I sometimes have that when I join a class or something, and I'm like, what, what? How can I put myself into a mode and and you know just be more active or be more engaged or something? Because I feel when I'm when I'm in a good place to draw, I'm sort of on the edge of my seat. Yeah. But, but I don't know how to sort of provoke that state mm -hmm. you know is there a possibility or is it just up to like daily sort of form of how you feel i've found sometimes when like i i had one of those days yesterday <clears throat> and i was like i don't know it wasn't happening but I, sometimes i've then like oh i'm so, something's wrong I'm, I'm doing something wrong and then i will just do some like really quick drawings like these and um, I've sometimes that kind of, if I'm, it helps to just kind of refresh, um, just to kind of mix it up a bit. And then I've found that to be helpful sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. Especially if I'm working on something which is like a really, it's like a long piece and I'm not feeling it. And I'm like, oh man, sometimes I do a two minute drawing and it's way better than this. <laughs> um, and then yeah just that is something i've found to be helpful sometimes just to mix it up a bit and then if you return to what you're doing then maybe it feel a bit refreshed just to sort of speed up the the the, the process and, and shake it up a bit yeah yeah mm. well i think sometimes you can also like if you know you can just sort of be like if it's not going to go well i'm just going to draw, draw noses today or i'm just going to draw eyes today and just sort of like mm -hmm. kind of like it's in a way you kind of like pre give up, but it could be. <laughs> yeah, just take it as it goes. Yeah, sort of no, this is not happening today, so I'm just going to draw noses and whatever. Just allow yourself to sort of uh, give yeah. yourself permission. I love the term pre give up. It's cool. Which probably helps to, yeah, loosen the. Yeah. I think it also helps to know that other people go through the same thing. Yeah, so I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you're saying this. <laughs> Yeah, Ricardo, I saw you at um, look like a pretty cool oil painting workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that. This is a, a guy who lives around the corner here in Vienna. And, oh. um, and I've been, because when I studied art, I, I did a lot of oil painting, but never really sort of academically sort of, okay, this pigment uh, you have to grind down with this, blah, 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 you know. It, mm -hmm. it was like you find out your own way of, draw, of painting and stuff at the art academy, it was not very uh, didacted, didactical, mm -hmm. uh, didactic, didactic, oh. exactly, yeah. so it was, yeah, it was all very sort of, uh, yeah, find out yourself, yeah, so, and this guy's very methodical, Jesus, methodical, methodical, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I want to, you know, just see how he, how he, how he does that. Cool. What his technique is. Oh. 
All right, Hans, that was amazing. How, how did you like the kimchi bread? <laughs> it was really cold. <laughs> All right. So, Kisa. Ah. Du hast das Brot gegessen, äh, gehst in ein Konzert, alle, alle sind still und dein Magen macht ganz, ganz laute Geräusche. <laughs> okay, so, so Kisa had the kimchi bread and then has gone to a concert and everything's really quiet and the stomach's just... <laughs> 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 Sometimes with back to your question, Ricardo, I think if, if something's really not working and I'm just not not feeling it, I think starting again can be uh good. <laughs> it depends on what you're what you're doing, I guess, but I think starting afresh and just trying to do something different. Um because I find sometimes if I spend a long time with something, try and fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, and it's just not fixable. It just gets frustrating and then starting again can be better. Thank you, Lisa. If you would like to see how I took those three four minute portraits and spent some more time on them, working them up with a, a blending stump and doing some hatching, getting into the details. And uh, I just loved these poses so much. I wanted to spend some more time on it. If you would like to watch the video where I go through that, go through the process in real time, then please check out my Patreon and the link is also down below, uh, down there somewhere. Check out my Patreon and sign up for my video tutorials and like and subscribe and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.